I'm here with Cooper Wade. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. How are you? I'm good. What's with the shirt? Uh, it, was, it was clean. <laughs> it was laundry day and it was okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good about doing laundry. I've got two kiddos and so I, I do a lot of laundry. But getting it folded is not too bad. But getting it then put away where it's supposed to go, it ain't happening. Oh, I hate that. I did radio tour in June and was gone most of July. And so I've probably got, and I'm not even lying, I've probably got five loads of laundry. All stacked, mm -hmm. divided up, mine, Anna's, Little Cooper's. And, I just kind of live out of a pile. Yeah. So this was on top of the pile today. So I guess I it, it is clean. Well, that's good. Yeah, you, you don't stink, so no. that's good. That's yeah. a good thing. You picked yeah. from the right pile. I'm not your typical musician. I take a shower. Every <laughs> now <and then. laughs> well, let's talk about your career. You, um, your background is a little different from most, with learning at such a, a young age, piano and keyboard. And let's talk about where that all came from. I grew up in a musical family. Mom and dad, you know, played instruments and mom was a choir teacher and all oh, that. Okay. So she started me playing piano at six six years old. Wow. And <laughs> you can guess being a football, basketball, baseball player growing up, that piano wasn't cool. <laughs> and there were literally days I remember leaving football in my pants with the pads in them and going straight to the junior college to take piano lessons in my football pants and I'm just going, Mom, this is not cool. I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. And she said, no, you're not. You're not going to stop. So I, I, then I started playing drums at 11. I was in the band and, you know, first chair and all this great stuff. And right. I was like, I'm not doing it next year. She's like, oh, yes, you are. Wow. So, so I ended up my senior year, I got I broke my ankle and stuff. And so I quit all sports my senior year. and thought, you know what? I'm not going to get any money to college to play athletics. Yeah. I, I could probably get a scholarship, to, you know, for music. So auditioned to North Texas at Texas and also at Baylor and ended up getting a lot of money to go to Baylor. So ended up paying for school and. I thank my mama every day now that she made me keep playing the piano and the drums and all that stuff. Well, I guess so. Mamas are great for that. My mom is awesome. <laughs> well, now, what was your degree in? I got a percussion performance degree with a minor in piano and voice. Wow. And I started playing the guitar about age 15. Taught yourself? Taught or myself, were you? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And I'm not that great at guitar, but I can hold my own. Yeah? <laughs> well, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> I can play some chords. Hey. You know. And then just own. the... Three four, four, four and a capo and you're good. <laughs> what else do you need? That's why you also have a lead guitar player. That That's why I have a very good lead guitar player because I can just play the rhythm and he can do whatever he wants to do. There you go. Yeah. Well, but it's fun. It's fun to be able to sit down at the piano. You know, because that's, I mean, not a lot, a lot of guys can do that. I was just so, going to say, that is pretty rare. It's, yeah, it's something different that I can do. And, of course, you know, I'm not the smallest guy in the world either, so most people don't really? expect me. I I've had know. guys go, hey, uh, where's Cooper? Are you the bouncer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cooper. Just me. So, uh, so you know, for, for a lot of people that come and see me for the first time, they're going, wow, I, I had no idea you could play the piano and the drums and, you know, all this other stuff. So, don't ever judge a book by its cover. Exactly. Yeah, we all know that. It's a wonderful so, lesson. It's fun. It's fun. So, when did you get your first band? <sighs> Man. I was, I mean, I was kind of in the music business when I got out of college and I got married. And as most of us know, musicians work at night and a school teacher works during the day. So I never saw my wife, yeah. and so I finally, things were going pretty bad, and I said, you know, I'm just going to quit, I'm just going to get a regular job, and try to salvage this marriage, and it was too little too late, and so I was, I was just in the, the regular business world for, I don't know, probably six, seven years, and I just missed it. Yeah. I just, you know, when, when it's in your heart and in your blood, you can't just quit. Right. And so I thought, you know, I'm just going to take my guitar and my piano, I'm just going to go to little bars and just play by myself. Not for money, just for fun. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing that, and things kind of got bigger and bigger. And I was like, well, man, I'm going to go play over here. Because I live in Katy, mm -hmm. and so Moe's is a big, you know, mm -hmm. big, a big uh, venue over there. And so I thought, well, gosh, I'm going to go play at Moe's. i got to have a full band. Yeah. So I started making calls around town and going to, you know, open mic nights and meeting musicians and put a band together. And the first event we did as a, as a band was for a, a committee, one of the rodeo committees up at St. Houston Race Park. And I was just going, this is nuts. Yeah. Next thing I knew, we were over for Reckless Kelly, and then Easton Corbin, and Billy Currington, and Kevin Fowler, and Roger Craig. And I was going, this is crazy. I got, I got to put a CD out now. Right. You know, so here we go. Right. And what started out just being is, I just want to do this for fun, has turned into, well, if some of these other guys are making a living doing it, maybe I can too. Yeah. You know, so here we go. So is this your first CD? This is the first one, yeah. It, uh, it took us three years because we went to a different studio to start with. And I didn't like, I almost got the whole thing finished and I didn't like it. Yeah. So I scrapped the whole thing. Wow. I lost $10,000. Yeah, that was Ooh, not cheap. Yeah. yeah, but 
you know, when you listen to it and you, and you think to yourself, you only get one chance at a first impression, I wouldn't send this to radio, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep it. Yeah. So I scrapped it, went up to Huntsville with uh, Billy Hillman and recorded uh, in his studio there, got great musicians on there, um, real fortunate, you know, and I'm proud of the songs. I mean, I wrote all, well, there's 10, 11 songs, I wrote 10 of them. Yeah. The only one that I didn't write is obviously the Kiss and Angel Good Morning. Yeah. Remake, I wish I'd written that song. Right. But uh, Ben Peters wrote it, we contacted Ben, Justin is his son, Ben's passed away, but Justin said, man, we'd be honored if you guys would put that on there. So we sent it to him, let him listen to it, and he said, we love it, put it on there. Awesome. We slowed it down a little bit, so mm -hmm. it's a little more of a boot scoot, you know, type song, but just a fantastic song, so. Cool. So yeah, so I wrote uh, ten of the songs and uh, just you know. Well, you know, right now you're you're pushing a song called "You and Me on a Beach Towel." That's we're wrapping that one up for the summer. It's a good summer good cut. Summer it was, like, it was our first. Yeah, it was our. It was my first single to release to Texas radio. Yeah. So did the radio tour and it was really fun because I got to meet a lot of people that I've either just talked to on the phone or emailed back and forth and. Yeah. So to get to put a face and a name together was was a lot of fun for me, and I think for me it was good because then it it kind of let them see. Who I was, mm -hmm. you know, not mm -hmm. just this not just guy, a guy who's emailing an MP3 to him, right? You know, and let him see. And so I, I made some great friends, and I know like Craig Vaughn up in Amarillo. Next time I'm up in town, we're gonna go and work out together, and you know, so it's just fun to hang out with like Tommy and those guys in San Angelo and mm -hmm. JB Cloud and Abilene. I mean, just I met some really really cool people. Yeah, yeah, and these guys are good. They're just guys awesome. and gals. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, so, cool. So what what are you gonna be pushing next? The next single is going to be the first song on there called Don't Flirt with a Texas Man. All right. Good that, title. Yeah, that, uh, hmm. you know, I mean, I was born in Abilene, so I'm a, I'm a Texas kid through and through. I was raised in Fort Worth and moved to Houston in 98, so I'm a firm believer that guys in Texas are just better. <laughs> I make no bones about it. All right. You know, it's still yes ma'am, no ma'am, and we open doors for ladies, and, you know, that's just how I was raised, and that's how a lot of us Texas guys are. And so. I think if if the women are honest, they'll say, "Yeah, I've dated guys from Texas, and I've dated guys from other states, and Texas guys are, are better." Oh, I completely or different. agree. So exactly. So anyway, so I just sat down and this song just kind of wrote itself, and it's a fun, you know, upbeat boot scoot song, but it's a little tongue in cheek, you know, kind of kind of serious but kind of funny. Okay. So, All right. So well, then we'll be definitely looking forward to hearing that. That'll be yeah. That'll be that'll be our next one coming out um, soon. Good. August, September, somewhere in there. Okay, wonderful. So where can people go if they want to find out more about you? Our website, obviously, is uh, cooperwave.com, real simple. Um, from there, you can click on Facebook, Twitter, my face, your face, everyone's face, whatever <laughs> else, whatever all the sites all are, they're all, they're all down there, YouTube, all that good stuff. So, uh, but <clears throat> if you go to the, my face, my personal Facebook page, then you can, you know, you can find out a little more about me as a dad and I coach my son's football. I know we both got kids playing baseball and football and all kinds of stuff. So I kind of will let you see that side of me as well. Um, you know, if you just want to see the music stuff, then go to the Facebook fan page or go to just my website and you can keep up with all of our dates and what's going on and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just a normal guy like everybody else, just trying to feed his kids and do what I love to do and make a living. So nothing, uh, nothing fancy, nothing special. Well, that's, that's pretty dang awesome, I have to admit. And you do have some great music, so good luck, Thank Cooper. You. I appreciate you coming by the corner. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right.